So I got another Super Famicom here, and this one just loads up to a black screen. I took it apart and started looking at uh, some of the components and whatnot underneath the microscope, and this is what I found. There's all sorts of corrosion right there by the PPU and the SRAM. I am almost positive that that is the problem. Uh, I'm going to test continuity, then I'm probably going to do some scraping and run some wires and see what happens. Let's uh, let's pause. I'm probably not going to record this, but I'll show you the end result. So here we have a close-up of those traces. Uh, scraped off a lot of that corrosion. I tried scraping it with a um, exacto knife, and that was doing okay. But that stuff was on there so thick that I had to use a little bit of fine sandpaper. Uh, you can see that one of those traces is, is entirely gone, and there's a second one there that's kind of hanging on by a thread. So. We're going to clean that up. We're going to run a couple wires and see if that fixes our problem. Stay tuned. Yo, I'm not even going to front. I did not think that was going to work. I spent about 20 minutes trying to repair those goddamn traces because I kept fucking up. And I got the worst damn tweezers ever. I need to get some new ones. These are terrible. But it works. I'm actually really surprised. <laughs> that was uh, not a fun time. So we're going to take a look at the work that we did, and you're going to see it's not good. But I always say that, it seems like lately. I mean, it was alright, I guess. I don't know what, how well that's showing up. On, under the camera, it doesn't show up too well. I'll try to look at it underneath the microscope. Underneath the microscope, it looks terrible. I guess from this view, it doesn't look too bad, but that actually was the issue. Those were some, uh, some very corroded traces. I guess there was some water damage or something on this thing. So... That's been uh, repaired. I took some uh, some wire. I got this wire here. I think this is, I want to say 30 gauge wire, I think. So I basically just cut the wire open and pulled out some strands and repaired each trace with a strand. Uh, it was two traces that needed work. So we'll take a look at that underneath the microscope now. So you can see here underneath the microscope, um, it's not uh, pretty, not pretty at all, but it is effective, and really that's all that matters. I had a tough time handling the uh, the wires, they're so small and so thin, and my tweezers are all bent to shit, so I couldn't grip them well. Every time I tried to tap my soldering iron onto the wire and the trace, my tweezers would slip, and uh, I would burn a little bit of that brittle trace off. So. Again, it's, it doesn't look good at all, I'll be honest, but again, like I said, it fucking works, so that really is all that matters. Uh, I'm going to clean that up with uh, a Q-tip and some alcohol, and I've got to get some uh, some solder mask at some point to start using. I, I don't have any right now. I might buy some uh, nail polish tomorrow and put that over it, but I mean, it's probably better to actually get some, some solder mask to properly fix this stuff. I'm going to try to clean that up a little because it really does look crappy, but... I mean, with how much of the trace actually came off, I mean, I, I can't really expect much more than that. Again, I'm really surprised that it worked, to be honest with you. I didn't think it would, but that corrosion was really nasty. It was thick. It was deep. It ate away at those traces, and we fixed it. We saved another Super Famicom from the junk bin, so, hey, I hope somebody learned something, maybe. I, I certainly did. I got a, a good amount of practice in with this. Uh, it's pretty late. It's roughly midnight. So I'm going to probably upload this bullshit and get to bed. Thanks for watching. Jay Will out.